Hey guys, Josh R. Vaynerd here at Haler RV of Coldwater, Michigan with something very different today. Not at all related to RVing. Rather, it's 100% related to protecting you as decent, law-abiding, hard-working individuals. Um, last weekend, uh, at the time of this filming anyway, I experienced a personal breach in data security. And it sucked. And thankfully, I had just enough measures in place to prevent anything really bad from happening. It just happened to be like a one day annoyance. Uh, but it's something that could have been a problem. Um, you know, flirting right on the edge of identity theft. Well, long story short, here's what happened. And then at the end of this, I, I'm going to share something that had I done it previously would have prevented all of this fun nonsense from ever happening. So I'm sitting there one Friday night, just eating dinner with my family after a long day of, you know, slinging RVs around our beautiful nation. And uh, my phone starts just blowing up with all these messages from my Amazon account, all these text alerts on things I didn't order. So, you know, naturally my spidey sense starts going off here and says, uh-oh, we got a problem. And thankfully I had those text alerts in place so that I was able to see that. Well, what essentially happened is that someone had gained access to the email account that I use to operate my Amazon Prime account. From there, they were able to backdoor into my Amazon account, which has things like credit card information associated with it naturally, and they were able to try to have some fun. Now, thankfully, all the credit in the world to the Amazon team. Their security department had already noticed suspicious activity, had all of this on hold. When I contacted their customer service department after noticing this weird activity on my account, the people that I was directed to, that I spoke to via text and then later via phone call, were absolutely amazing. So from Amazon, I, I doubt you'll ever see this, but uh, Muhammad and Makina, thank you very much. When I called them, I was rolling a lot of ideas around in my head. Like, what happened? What am I gonna be liable for? Do I have to call my uh, credit card company, etc. You know, there's a lot going on in your head. I'm a person who does fairly well in a pressure situation, but I'm not gonna lie. I had a fair amount of anxiety going on here, as I think anybody would. Um, long story short, they were able to effectively help me fully regain control of my account and then I was able to reach out to some folks that I know, uh, one fella in particular. Um, do you remember the video a little while ago where some dude just sent me a box of Funyuns? Well, turns out that guy works at Microsoft and he was able to help me uh, go the next step further, not on the Amazon side of things, but my side of things. So I'm very fortunate that I knew a good person here. And I'd like to think that maybe it's a couple karma points for conducting our business and our culture at Halo RV the decent way. I got, I got to enjoy a little bit of that back and I'm very thankful for it. Long story short, all of this could have been avoided had I been using an authenticator, a two-stage uh, authentication for logins. If you're not familiar with what that is, down in the little video description, I'm going to leave some links to the uh, App Store for iPhones and Google Play for Androids uh, for the Microsoft Authenticator. I am not, it does not say sponsored by Microsoft down here. This is something that has given me uh, security and peace of mind. I wanna share with you, Microsoft is one of many providers who offer these apps. If you're not familiar with it, guys, because I know that the average RV consumer is not really tech forward. Um, it is essentially, even if these people would've had my password, when they try to log in from like a weird location, a second sort of challenge screen would pop up and not just say, what's your password, but it would say, what is this current 30 second secret code. And take a look at this. The way these things work is that every 30 seconds you get basically an extra security code that you have to enter or else you just simply can't get through the warden. It's called two stage authentication that way. So they could have my password all day long and they wouldn't be able to get in. Now, if they put in bad passwords, I would see notifications, hey, failed login attempt. And I'd be like, someone's trying to mess with my stuff. But there would be that extra level of security is anything 100% guaranteed foolproof? No, but this makes it exceptionally hard for people to go mucking around with your accounts. 
It is simple, it is easy, it is free, and I recommend it for everything. You can use them from things like personal email accounts to uh, Facebook, to Amazon, to anything essentially. And a lot of these um, providers, like if you just, if you don't know how to set it up, like you get the app on your phone, now what do I do? Literally just Google something like Amazon two-stage authentication or Facebook two-stage authentication. Most of the time it gives you a QR code and these authenticator apps have a QR scanner mode where you just go bloop, point it at the screen and voila, there's your security. It's so simple, it's stupid not to do it. And I feel like an idiot for not doing it. I'm a person who has a fair level of knowledge of technology. I knew about these things. But stuff like this, I don't, I don't want to at all relate my little data security challenge to something like cancer. But my point is, tragedy doesn't seem real until it hits home. So a lot of people watch my videos and a lot of people say, man, Josh, I just, I feel like I know you. Well, maybe it'll hit close enough to home that if a person like me goes, you need to do this, hopefully it's beneficial for you. I really hope. I really hope that if it, this, this video could help even one person. So again, maybe next time I'm up here with my goofy face on the camera, we'll have a fun little RV sale or a new one out there for you. But today I thought, you know what? I want to share something that I think could help a lot of people save a lot of headache. So with that, take care, stay safe, have fun, protect yourself, and happy camping, everyone.